Hello everyone, I'm Den Herring and welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365 and welcome back to Top Water Tuesday. Today we have an interesting one for you, a bait that uh, I think you might find quite interesting. It's the Bagley Monster Shad. So Bagley's been around for a long, long time. They're known for their balsa style baits, all wood baits. And they have this, uh, this crippled shad bait here. This is a smaller one. But they make a monster version too. And uh, hopefully you can get an idea for the size difference. And the topic of today's Top Water Tuesday is the monster version because it makes an incredibly good wake bait if you buy the right one. Uh, Bagley's changed these things numerous times over the years, and they make different ones too. Definitely want to stay away from the ones with the larger lips. So notice the lips on these three. Big lip, big lip, small, short lip, right? These bigger lips are deep divers. They'll go down 10, 12 feet. They float, but they'll go down 10 to 12 feet. That's not the topic of today's Topwater Tuesday because you can't fish them as a topwater. But you can fish these at the top water, and they make a very good top water uh, bait. Now, even these, there's differences. See if I can give you an example. Here's two that are the same color, but look at the lips. I'm going to put them. Hopefully, you can see them. They're clear. I'm going to put those lips so that one they're they're even with each other this one is a bigger lip now this one you can still fish as a as a wake bait but it's a lot easier to fish this smaller lip one as a wake bait and and the because it's smaller and that diving angle is is steeper right the steeper that lip angle is the the less it dives down it stays more on the surface so this one was never meant to be fished deep so and unfortunately, they still make the Bagley Monster Shad, but I can't seem to find any with these smaller lips. You know, this, this lip here, this design here, it's a bigger lip than this one. This is fine too, though. You know, you can, you can fish this on top slowly. It makes a great wake bait. But I, like I said, these, these other ones with the big lip, they don't work. But they're, for top one, they don't work. They're still available. You can buy these straight from Bagley, and I think they're available at some other tackle outlets but I can't find the ones with the smaller lips anywhere. I, I looked briefly before I started the video. There was a few on eBay. The prices were a little bit steep, uh, so I don't know how available they are anymore. But I will say this, if you have some of these in your box or in your arsenal, you may want to get them back out again when you fish certain lakes. Any lake that has large size alewives or gizzard shad, this is a great bait. I mean, look at the paint job on these things. These, these baits have been along around a long time. They're way ahead of their time with the paint jobs. I mean, it just looks like a real shad. I mean, incredible finish on that bait. And uh, so, places that have large alewives, large shad, you know, depending on where you're fishing, if you're a little further south and you have thread fin shad, anything like that that grows the shad up to, you know, four or five inches like this thing, this is this is a really good profile bait it's thin it's not too fat across the back so it has the right profile and it has a very different wake than say a standard wake bait like i think most of you know my one of my favorite wake baits is the cordell redfin that thing it not it it does this but it also wiggles too so it has a very extended wake these baits are more subtle in their wake. They do more of this on the surface, more of this wobble back and forth. But that's a lot of times how an injured, sh injured shad would be swimming on the surface if it was hurt or something was wrong with it. And you could, you know, you can twitch your rod and make it dive or, you know, dive down and come back up on an angle like this and come up like it's really sick or that something's wrong with it. And so that makes it uh, a very good topwater bait. And the places that, that I would like to throw these are where the shad get a little bigger in my locale, right? So that's Blue Marsh, Naka Mixin. Uh, but these things will work everywhere you throw them. I mean, if, if you're fishing for stripers, for example, you know, they're going to want bigger baits because it's just easier for them to, to get at one meal rather than having to eat 20 meals of little other baits. So 
Uh, this this lure will work anywhere you throw it. And largemouth bass, obviously, they're going to eat this thing. This is nothing for uh, the size of the bait for those fish. But if you're trying to match the forage, the forage in those lakes that I mentioned is a little bigger than some of the others. Either way, though, this is a, this is a very interesting bait to fish. I like to fish it in the morning and evening, low light conditions, and then I like to fish it at night as well. I'm not saying it won't work in the middle of the day. I'm sure it would. But... Uh, I like, I just prefer to, to fish those lower light conditions, probably because the bait that this is mimicking tends to be up near the surface more during those times of day, especially on humid days when, it, when you have a lot of humidity in the air, that bait usually rises up and you see it on the surface. Lots of color combination, lots of color options with this. You know, here's one that's like a, a chrome finish. Uh, this one's called Crippled Shad. It's got that little orange underneath there. And then I think I've already shown you this really natural looking shad. Really nice, uh, really nice color. Um, so if you have them and you haven't fished them, you may want to try them because they're very effective for largemouth bass, stripers, hybrid stripers, smallmouths. They, they catch fish. You can probably tell by the, the fact that I have quite a few of them here and I've got more without hooks on them that uh, you know that I I've collected them because they are fish catchers and I don't think a lot of people have them or throw them or know much about them but they sure do look natural in the water and that's that's the thing that I think draws the fish the other thing I like about the paint jobs is they put this epoxy coat over it and it makes the bait appear like it's wet it gives it a really nice shine it just looks so more much more natural that way with that wet look uh, I think that makes a difference with uh, uh, with with uh, looking natural when you're when you're throwing this bait out there well that's it for this top water tuesday i hope you enjoyed it the other thing i want to mention is that the bait as big as it is it's not very heavy it's balsa and because it's wide it could be a little tricky to throw sometimes it'll catch the wind and and because of that wide bait so usually i'll use a a, a lighter series a cat bait casting rod. I still prefer a bait caster to throw this. You could throw it on a heavier spinning rod, but I prefer again this top water bait caster that I like so much that has this, uh, you know, this really perfect uh, tip section for for throwing and twitching baits. Works quite well for throwing this bait as well. And I mentioned this before. It's a Daiwa light and tough series rod, top water twitching rod. I don't think it's made anymore, but it's it's a heck of a rod for this kind of fishing. Uh, but if you have a similar topwater type rod, that would be appropriate for throwing this. Again, I usually like to throw braid. Uh, typically, when I'm throwing a bait like this, I'll throw a 20 pound braid and then I'll put something anywhere from 12 to 17 pound test monofilament as a leader, usually a rod length or two, and you're good to go. If you liked the video, give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've just hit 3,000 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. I'm hoping to get 10,000 subscribers much quicker. I'm hoping to get this channel going and rolling faster and faster, and uh, hopefully we can get some momentum and continuing, to continuing to uh, to move forward with it. So appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to keep the comments coming. Let me know what you think of this bait if you have any experience with it. Hope to see you on the water, and may God bless your fishing endeavors. <laughs>